Welcome back. My name is Gwen Bowie, and I love talking about security if you haven't figured that out yet, especially in helping you get ready for these tests, CISSP, CCSP, and CISOM in particular. This question is a bit of a difficult one. This one belongs to both CISSP and CCSP. Not completely there yet, but or could happen anytime. So here we go. When evaluating a product for use within an environment that handles very sensitive corporate information, it is advisable to have it tested by a third party. If testing is done using ISO 15408, otherwise known as common criteria, there are several critical aspects of the test results that should be taken into consideration. One of which is the protection profile, which of the following best defines a protection profile. That's a lot in the question. One of the best ways to actually handle something like this is first read the question. So it should have been which of the following best defines a protection profile and then read the rest to see if it actually adds to it or not. Kind of gives you an idea as to where you're going. So protection profile is one of those critical things within common criteria. So first ponder the question. A protection profile is the category. Protection profile would define that it is a firewall, an operating system or something like that little more detailed in reality, but that gives us the flavor of it. So in looking at the answers, that's what I'm looking for is what's going to tell me what kind of category. And first thing I actually see when I looked at the screen with the A, B, C, and D is answer B and the answer D both have the word category in there. I don't know, maybe one of those, but <laughs> carefully look at these things. So the first thing we want to do is actually eliminate an answer. The other thing I look for is any kind of patterns that happen. So B and D both say implementation specific and C says implementation independent. I haven't read the answers yet. This is just literally what my brain is looking for is the patterns. Now, if it's the category of product, it would be telling me that this is going to be a firewall. It doesn't tell me anything about the vendor. That's the next thing that's defined is the testing is something like a Cisco, ASA, 5510, and so on. So implementation specific actually is not a good answer. It's implementation independent. It's just a category of firewall. So B and D are out. Once you eliminate two answers, what you want to do is go back and reread the question. Make sure that you're still thinking about the right thing. Which of the following best defines a protection profile? As you can see, you don't really need to read the rest of the question on the test. Always do just in case. But this is just asking me about protection profile. So now the question is what's different between A and C, the two that we have left. A is a set of security requirements and specifications to be used as the basis for evaluation of an identified toe, target of evaluation. It doesn't sound bad. C, an implementation independent set of specific requirements for a category of products or systems that meet specific consumer security needs. Actually, they sound a lot alike. The difference is C seems more formal. C seems more complete. Implementation independent, security requirements, category of products, consumer needs, like there's more to it. So I actually like the answer C the best. And guess what? That's the right answer. Not because I knew it was the answer. I honestly was just working through it, even though I have seen this question a lot over the years, but it's looking for those consistencies. It's looking for those patterns, looking for what you know about the topic and what in the answers doesn't match. So you can throw out two. Once you throw out two, reread the question and then evaluate your two remaining answers. So I hope that helps. This is definitely something that you need for CISSP and it's a good thing to understand for CCSP. All right. If you found this useful, give me a like, give me a follow, and I'll keep creating these. Nice seeing you. Have a good day. See you in the next video.